streamers in. <laughs> Stream art is acting weird tonight, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Whip It Thursdays. Uh, tonight, we got uh, Cannon, uh, former known box of cannons, and Harker Customs. And That's it. Going to be working on some few projects I got on the on the iron, and I'll go from there. I got my Bruton. I'm just going to do some. I did a wash on I got the legs assembled. I'm gonna do a little bit of a little bit, of, and I did a wash on them. I'm gonna take some red over the uh, guard, red over the top of the uh, areas. I soften up some of the wash a little bit. Just to do a little bit of dry brushing. Uh, with red, I can't really call it dry brushing because I gotta put so much on. So ends up being wet brushing because red is very transparent. Yeah. And I got my Havoc, which is shaping up pretty good. Got the torso looking really nice. That is nice. I did the wet sanding on the gold and got it nice and smooth. I thinned down the gold too, where I've been starting using it so much, it was starting to like to get a little thicker in the bottle. So I put some thinner in there, so that helped a lot. Oh, okay. And that's the rustic? That is the rough gold. The rough, the rough gold, the uh, the stuff that um, uh, Mr. Metallics, Mr. Uh, Mr. Metallic. Nice, I do love that. Love that stuff. Some of that. And we got the legs for Havoc. I'm gonna do a wash on those to match their upper body because the blue that I used is pretty close. Because I found out if you overheat the plastic and water for the astonishing, some plastics will do this. If you overheat them, they'll discolor. The blue went light on the hard plastic. So I ended up huh. did a wash and dry brushed over top of it. So that fixed it. And that. I wonder why that happens. Uh, to me, an X4 blue is pretty close. So. Yeah, I don't know. Some plastics you can keep the living daylights out of, and it's fine. Others, it'll discolor. Yeah, that's weird. My solar man of the atom, he's coming up pretty good. Oh, and nice. I just gotta do do some water, yes. make a water slide for the chest. All right. I read. Yep. I'm on. I got the chest all like. Uh, Basically, primer red. I'm gonna go over it. the guards red. The head still needs a couple more coats of the uh, Citadel uh, Evil Sun Scarlet. I'll put the red on top of the chest. The guards red, and I thin it down. I put some water in my guards red. That fixed the issue I had last week where I'd start clumping on me. And after that dries, I'll do a wash and dry brush over top of that. Have it ready for the decal. And on the decals, do you just get like a uh, decal, a water slide sheet, and uh, and you do it on a regular printer, or is there a specific kind of ink and printer that you use? Uh, sometimes I use a printer at work. It's a laser printer. Uh -huh. even, though, even though it's meant for like ink, inkjet printer paper, once you seal them, they're fine. Oh, okay. So when you when you say seal them, are you talking about actually using a spray? Yeah, you, you seal them with like a basically the same top coat you put on the figures. It's just, I'm spray it down with your hobby. Really? Yeah, I might uh, take a. I, I would like to see you do that at some point. I'd like to know how to do that. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great to have a tutorial on that because I really want to. Uh, Moss Customs has my, um, my female barbarian right now because he's doing um, uh, some different hair on it. And yeah. I want to do uh, some tattoos on her, uh, and I'd really like to do some water slide stuff on um, on her to do to put some tattoos on her. But I want to be able to print the tattoos myself. Oh yeah, uh, that's how I did the uh, my last uh, prime. the the new The new laser jet at work sucks, so I'm going to be using the my inkjet home. 
But then I did like the arm hair. Oh, arm. look at that. And I still am with like a, a slacker gloss. If you don't seal them, the uh, as you drop in the water, it'll yeah. I had the ink will just uh... it'll dissolve huh. parts in the paper. Then you after the, when you apply them, you want to use your Microsoft micro, micro set. Yeah, yeah, I got so, some of that. All it is is to make a water slide. Is you print something on an ink check printer or on some. Do you have to have any special paper? Yeah, special like a uh, water slide paper. Okay, that's the part that I missed. You're breaking up real bad tonight. All right, well, I'm, I'm working on the file that has the kit spike in it, so. Ah, it's like. It's, it's cannot, like, but Captain, we cannot take the strain. Pretty much. No, oh, it's. Oh, we've got quite a few chats already. We got through 037. Can't wait. I'm probably going to be on Lash and we'll be working on Epic 4 Wolverine. Four inch Wolverine. And what do you think? Give uh, some neat articulation, you know? Yep. And waving. Family. Oh, we got a family. Already. Throw up. Family. Family. Family, family, family. And you got Hang Solo, Mondo uh, Flores, Flores, Hang Solo, SBA, Jeffrey Torres. Uh, no, we not, we do not want to see that. <laughs> Bye. 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 You want to see uh, Brie Larson custom feet? No. Hell Bye. yeah. Auto incorrect. <laughs> like bang, thanks for those that name auto correct. Auto incorrect. Yeah. Uh, we got name name of failed. I just Oh, uh, uh, Solar, uh, I keep wanting to say, um, I got He-Man on the brain and I keep saying Solar. Solar Van the Adam is actually on uh, a mix between uh, Vulcan, uh, Corsairs, and uh, uh, some feet from a Sunfire Feet mold. So I don't like the feet on the Vulcan body. They're kind of like too blunt and square looking. So I feet from, uh, I think these are Fire Lord feet. The head is from the, the Astonishing uh, Cyclops. And Commodon, not saying a word, just this fan beating the mic. I uh, <clears throat> actually had to go use the bathroom real fast, but uh, I made it. So I uh I tried to change his hands out and I broke him. Oh no. And then as soon as I was pulling on it and I was like didn't Rife say something about he had to heat these pow and it broke off. Oh, oh no. no. I did heat them up when I reviewed it. Well, I, I had a, a issue too with uh, those shoulders that I accidentally left in the uh Wizard Newton too long. When I was heating heating them up to take back out of the torso, they just pulled apart. They, they just get ruined the plastic on them. So I have to strip these down. But, but I reshaped her torso a little bit too. Then more contouring on the shape. So it actually contours around the body a little better. Oh, nice. So actually recreate the pose on the artwork I was looking at. Works out pretty good. This is going to be toys from the Ultraverse. I actually opened up the around the shoulders too, allow for more clearance, more range of movement. 
you got a little extra gap there, but it's nothing that's ugly. So allows for a lot better range of movement. So I got a new Iron Man. Ah, nice. Yeah, right, well, let me get get him in frame here. Oh, did you find him? Okay, cool. Because I, I was I was looking at uh, I was looking for him this weekend. But where are you going to? You gonna get that kit? Uh, I so expensive. I, I haven't seen how much does that kit cost. Seventy nine dollars or seventy five dollars plus shipping. Yeah, I I spoke to him about it, and he we had like talk, I told him I said, hey, you know, I'm interested in buying all of it. But, you know, are you willing to do this, this, and this? And he's like, yeah, all this together. And he's like, then he quoted me a price. And I was like, mm, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. And I said, is that all together? And then he started reading me the right act about how, oh, no, that's the hours I put in and, and this, that, and all the time I have to spend printing it out. And I was like, bro. What was the, the what price did he quote you? Uh, I'd have to go back and look, but I think it was like somewhere. It was like ninety dollars or something like that. What? What? It is four. It is chunky. It's um, like it's a add-on pieces for this Iron Man. What? It's um, stuff to make it look like the Prometheus armor, the you, the feet, and like some the kneecap redo, and I think there was something on the mean? arms. You show them what you want. We're going to go for less than nine dollars. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it was a, a new torso, head, uh, removable mask, light up feature of the chest. And he, yeah, he, he flipped out. And I was like, dude, dude, I was just fucking asking because, you know, it sounded pretty close to what the kit call so i was confused because i said i wanted all of it and he's like well you know you can still buy the kit on the website if you want have a good day that's kind of pretty yeah so i was like yeah i'm probably not gonna buy it but yeah I, it it seemed it seemed way overpriced to me Especially for the, I don't know. I saw it. It looked cool at first, and then I saw. I don't know what you got for it versus the price, and I was like, "Well, sh shit," you know. I don't think it's quite there for that price. I, I was thinking in the neighborhood of like fifty. I was like, if that's like fifty something bucks, it's dope. Yeah, I paid more for less. Yeah. Oh, this is one of the most disappointing figures uh, that I've gotten in a very long time. Her feet, um, one of the boots is too um, too long. You can already see right there. One of them's too big, and it's what like it? talk Bastille Shan, which is like a big deal for me because it's Knights of the Old Republic. This head looks far more like Satil, her daughter. So I have to. I, I went ahead and bought a new head. So I got to re. I got to paint that. She has no boobs, like at all. So I have to sculpt boobs. And this overlay is way no too thick. Really. So I have to come in here and thin this out, and probably thin this one out too. And as well as the butt flap, the shoulders, shoulder pads are like super chonky. So I'm probably going to have to cut those down as well. The whole thing is the, pa the pouches are on the wrong side, but I can get over that. Uh, the whole thing is the wrong color. This is supposed to be brown, uh, two, two different kinds of browns. And this is supposed to be much closer to an orange. And they use some really crappy Leia legs that are real old and they, they have pins. So I'm going to have to fix that as well. 
This thing is really rough. See that when you was talking about Shingano boobs, is what it feels amazes me that uh, whoever sculpted the Monet torso got that through. How did they get that through? <laughs> yeah. I thought he said boobs, like the things you wear on your feet. No, but boobs. <laughs> the boobs, the boobs are wrong. Right. That gets funny every time, man. Well, uh, I guess some people could wear them on their feet. <laughs> It, it, everything's just wrong. Uh, the oh, and the lightsaber hilt. Uh, her the lightsaber uh, blades are uh, piss yellow. I, I don't understand why they're piss yellow. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something about that. And the hilt is gargantuan. It, it's like it's her whole body. It's bad. It's really bad. So that's going to have to be addressed too. Like the whole thing is like a full custom job. So I'm gonna I'm gonna at least like start on that today. It's a uh, uh, it's like full nightmare scenario. Ooh. Real bad. Real bad. Oh, uh, Jeffrey Torres. That's not the Action Force. That's um. Uh... The um, Hasbro, not Hasbro, crap. Big Bad Toy Store's uh, uh, monster line. The, the vampires and monsters and stuff. It's you know, It looks a lot like it in being in line with Action Force, but it's a different line all together from a different company. But they, they look interesting. I yeah, I ordered one of those. Uh, on order. Oh, looks good. I'll probably, I think I'll pick up, I'll pick up all like the named ones, like you know the Invisible Man, mm-hmm. maybe um, Frank, Dracula, probably them. I like their take on those. Plus, you can kind of wedge them into uh, your Cobra display. Oh yeah. Even in sector two eight one three. Let's go. Uh, oh, on the bright side, I have all of the parts for the hell cycles done. I'm just making sure that uh, all the resin is cured properly, and then I will start packaging them up. Sweet. Nice. I'll get the. I got. I, I got my Google Pay up set up too. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I thought that was gonna take like months to get out. <clears throat> I ended up I actually had most of it set up because of the YouTube. <laughs> oh, nice. So then I can start printing some other stuff that people have been waiting on. Uh, some YouTube channels have custom symbols for members for live streams uh i actually i got those now i have still set up i set up uh channel channel membership a while back uh, a couple weeks ago and i, I made the custom uh emojis and uh, badges we badge we don't need no stinking badges Yes, a pit door head. So I didn't get this. Badgers? You need stinking badgers? Walter Brimley up emoji. Hmm. I'm at my limit right now. I made four. They, they, uh, until you get more members, they only let you make four custom. What is that? Should they get authenticity? I'm just kidding. I have zero members right now. <laughs> Wait, Man, what? that is blown up in that. I don't know what we're talking about. Oh, the channel membership. I set it up on, on this channel. It's oh. a new thing they got. It's a newer thing where they got where people like subscribe. Like it's kind of like sort of like a Patreon type thing. Oh, and then they pay you money. Yeah. That works. There's um. 
I don't know if you want to toss me a, a full screen on this one. I did this. Uh, I did this rapier. Um, let me do a manual focus here. There we go. What to make it actually out of? Made this. Come on. This is actually made out of a jumbo paper clip. Oh, nice real thin i made another one like this before but uh i made it <laughs> i made it almost too sharp and uh xavier the guy that um i made it for kept on uh stabbing himself with it so i made it a little uh a little more dull this time but yeah this time i polished it uh even better so, real metal sword. Sweet. Out of a jumbo paper clip. Evening, show off the, the Havoc uh, progress, please, Jared. Yes, sir. I just put a wash on the legs. And I got the torso. Do it full screen. We got the torso all, all painted up. Did the butterfly joints in black? Shoulders black. So I'm gonna put the jacket on. That's the spook finish. Still has to be resealed, and then I'll dull it down. The wash on my legs. I'm gonna do some dry brushing on those later. Blue and who is eating their mic? Uh, <laughs> is it about uh, it might have been me shaking paint. Mute me. See if it's me. Yes, it is coming on. <laughs> I know what the problem is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Xavier Frost, uh, that the original Zorro sword, uh, sword harker was razor sharp. Lots of band-aids were employed in handling. <laughs> Yeah. That, was the, that was the recipient, that man right there. If you, uh, uh, if you're not bleeding, you really love what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, so it got me a couple of times when I made it, but it, it seemed worth it for the, uh, you know. No, I stab, I stab, I uh, poked myself quite a few times working on Primeval with those parts you made me. <laughs> seemed worth it. <laughs> I gotta suffer for the thing because you care about we suffer for our art we are our art right yes sir so what can i jam in this thing to fix it hey you know what i think i know what i can jam in to fix it. Yeah. that's what she said Talking little girls, see. Yeah. Well, um, I will have to shut down the stream tonight at around nine thirty or so. 
because I have to have a meeting for work at 10 and I got to launch a project web cut. Apparently work is more important than this. Uh, yeah, I get paid that way. <laughs> Shenanigans. That, that pays for doing this. So, might be a little bit important. Yeah. Uh, that took me the same project. I had meetings on Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. When you salary, your job is n never really done. This is accurate. Painfully accurate. All right, first coat of guard And tree. also the reason I'm not saying. I enjoy my work, so it's all good. That's good. I enjoy That's mine sometimes. I enjoyed sending out as many packages as I sent out today. I sent out like shit, like 12 Batman capes. That was nice. I have like 20 more now to send out. Probably a grand total of about 28 orders left. Before I'm completely uh, free, but only about 20 Batman capes in total. And then I don't have to do Batman capes again for as long as I really, you know, want to. Until you shoot stuff in the foot again? Yeah, well, I'm just, you know, I don't have to do the pre-order part of it since, you know, the life is working. I don't have to, uh, like, panic. Did you have any flashbacks of toilet paper in 2020? No, you know, we, we, we never had that toilet paper problem around here, oddly enough. Poor old yeah, idiot. I worked for the government, so I never ran out of toilet paper either. Yeah, they seen, they seen a lot of memos, so you got all that. <laughs> Uh, now there was a scare about toilet paper, but we never, never had any problem. It got it got uh, hard to get here for a while. Yeah, we we absolutely ran out of toilet paper. There was uh, none to be found in any of the places. I remember I, I stopped at a local grocery store. I, I shopped for my myself and my cousin and they had like the, all they had to left was these little tiny packs and they were they were trying to say oh you already buy one it's like look i'm buying for me and my handicapped cousin so i'm leaving here too <laughs> i don't give a shit what your real quote is i'm buying two and i'm not buying the whole damn store out i'm buying two when i bought two when six foot two man and three uh, three hundred ninety pound man says I'm gonna buy two, I'm gonna buy two. <laughs> the hundred and ten pound uh, cashier dude's not gonna keep me from buying them. No, it's okay, bro. I'm buying two. Oh. If we got a cool, you would only buy one. I don't care. I'm buying two. I'll, I'll bring it back tomorrow. Used. <laughs> bring it back Good. 
<laughs> just sealing these legs up. They're done. Excuse me. Goodness. Yeah. My idea worked. I got his little arm back together. I just don't know how we'll make it permanent. <laughs> Thanks, I was uh, shooting my BB pew pew at a Star Wars man in the front yard and bounced up one across the road and hit the old lady straight in the backside. <laughs> my Oops. dad had a mower on the lawn for a month. <laughs> and I visit the woodshed. <laughs> Comple completely true story. I don't do it. All righty, what's next? We got the Corso all furred up. He's already, fur already furry, but painted up. My arms blend it, those turn out good. And oh, let me go grab the okay. belt. What that kid for your knees for uh, a Space Coast to, to glow in the dark? Uh, well, if I understand correctly from the really, uh, break up, breaking up, yes. Glow in the dark, yes. <laughs> Don't know I'm a gato. Difficulties here. I'm guessing it's because, what, you have, like, something large open on Blender that it makes it choppy for you? Yeah. That's what I thought. That'd be a safe assumption yeah. all right now uh Psylock doesn't have a receding hairline man what so cool I always thought her receding hairline costume was her best costume I love Let's it check out my extra shipwreck and uh, rock and roll let's see if i did any better of quality control on these just fucking send you my shipwreck and turn it into a shipwreck for me Uh, there apparently is different batches of, you said your uh, what was it? Falcon didn't have bad legs. Right, yeah. Um, I got a, cu uh, a couple of Rotondo for parts without missing some of his gear because I want, mainly I was wanting these disc harnesses and I want one of these and they had like a deal if you buy two, you get them cheaper. So I ended up getting two, and I, I used to upgrade my flint and other custom. Well, this one. Yeah, the, legs, and, uh, the legs on those two were better than the one I actually bought at the store. I gotta get a, a Rakondo now. Can't even remember all what I need to get at this point. I gotta. You gotta. Uh, you gotta send me a recipe. For Flint, so I can get all the stuff together for it. I know we oh, out back, so I, I think I got uh, somebody holding an outback for me. Yeah, uh, the lower body was outback. The arms are Ricondo. The the gear is from uh, Stalker. I got Stalker. Uh, I got an extra Stalker. Um, I might have the outback. Um, oh, this one's actually better. This shipwreck. Oh, really? The paint on the sleeve is not so thin. And the beard's actually painted up to the sculpt. 
Is he is is are the lips like still like practically ruby red? No, they're they're actually this is right out of the box. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. The beard's painted better. The eyebrows, the eyebrows are still a little fucking out out there, but you know that need a little extra paint on the eyebrows, and there's still a little bit of over the Yeah, I'm I I'm getting a, a whole new head for my shipwreck. I think. Uh, really, I think the only thing I need to do on this one is touch up the eyebrows. They're really thin. And they don't go they don't cover the full sculpt this one i might use with the hair it's actually not bad a lot better <laughs> his tattoo goes on to his armband though oh my god let's see if i can get it this in focus there we go there uh there she is now with no receding hairline. Oh, well, there you go. That looks a lot better. Pretty good on the fall of the sculpt. Pretty good. If anybody didn't have a problem with the receding hairline, it'd be Harker. Shut up. The more, beard, the more beard I get, the uh, the more my hairline recedes. IRL. I need to stop growing so much beard. There you go. Now, Harker, uh, you need to make a, a tutorial on how to do sword making. <laughs> right? Whip it crew. Uh, hey, Darth. Okay, now let's check my rock and roll. Same thing. The shipwreck was an improvement. I didn't do this one with heat this time. I usually heat it up to make the, um, the paper clip softer. And actually, I think I had an easier time this time than um, than I usually uh, had with the heat. I think I had more, a little bit more control. Let me put so these in like the description. These are always handy to have little nippers. Yeah, I actually um, mm -hmm. uh, went with the new brand. Uh, I went with Crescent. Crescent's a damn good brand. Uh, Eigen, I G A N, and man, these motherfuckers are good. Holy crap. These are wonderful i ordered like three different pairs of uh nippers and i um I, I was like you know what i just got to pick the best one uh and those were it man Th those are great because i use those for uh cutting cloth pieces off i use them for cutting uh thread so they need to be pretty sharp uh yeah it's um I have this thread cutter. Eh, I, li I like to be able to use these for everything, though, is the thing. Mm -hmm. The only improvement to go with rock and, the, the rock and roll is you don't have the effect of a uh, fast fool like the first one. You don't have a what? The defective thigh swivel. Oh. Remember the other one I is uh, deformed. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The, the holster is still too big. It, it don't fit this figure. Yeah. I'm thinking I might green shirt it like that one guy's custom. really want uh like a green smear where he's got green on the legs and green on the shirt i think i'm just gonna do a black shirt 
and I'm gonna do a permanent uh, vinyl decal on the shirt with some kind of uh, some kind of you know like band, probably ACDC, like you said. There we go. And I'm just gonna go black with it and uh, just use the um, uh, use a really badass uh, you know Mr. Color on there. That way it avoids the uh, chance of rub. There's with the Recondo upper body and with the refractor body. That's nice. Now the biceps on the regular body is bigger. It's, you know, if you use the Recondo, he's going to be a little bit smaller arms. So I may end up swapping out the head and just be an, an extra soldier. I did. Um, <laughs> I did get these in. Oh, nice! Have you tried them yet? I haven't tried them yet, but I've taken a really good look at them, uh, and they they really look uh, nice. Like they don't really have um, look like they have to be really thinned down very much. Um, this red yeah. looks like really really nice. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty, and it don't look orange. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You go, you would hate it. So this has got a lot of the the basics, um, and the flesh looks pretty good. It looks pretty straightforward. It looks pretty straightforward as a flesh. You could add brown or add uh, um, a peach or add like a magenta to it, and you could um, easily get. Uh, some different tones it has like a, there's like an umber that you could use the golden brown that you could put into it there's a few different options uh here's the magenta you could probably add to it and get what you want out of it uh mahogany burnt red uh, i'm I want to, I need to build racks for them now because they're, you know, they're so much bigger. They're the 22 milliliters versus, you know, your, your standard eight from, um, uh, you know, the Vallejo. All the paints that I use now, none of them fit like the regular racks that I, uh, that I use. Back in black. Here's the the belt buckle, the the, the armor piece that'll go on to Bruton's belt. Oh, badass! I end up just making using blue stuff over top of a Hulk ab section and smoothed it down and curved it and it was able to contour it to fit. First try. I got uh, panned up silver, clear coated. Uh, it just needs chromed out. Oh. Keep watching the time. I'm glad to get this this project launched. It's also one thing it's like it's uh, I can't talk about any details about it with you at work because if there's like an NDA thing. I'm not under the NDA, but the rest of the team are. But I can't talk about it either. It's secret squirrel stuff. <laughs> But the notice and stuff go launches tomorrow, so the, the site's gonna be up. Launch it, go through, make sure everything works, all the links are good. 
obviously troubleshoot and launch it and troubleshoot it to go through but troubleshoot it tonight and this is I like the have material they use for this even though it kind of feels like cheap but it's so lightweight it feels like it could snap I mean you got to be careful with a super lightweight that way they they don't bog down on you oh yeah snap into the slim gym especially on the staff they look really good though the the paint work on them is really good definitely dig them dry brushing the epic legs so the colors will match perfectly i gotta pull this uh this off of here and put it on this one i wish they would have just added the strap on the both of them that's kind of a pain in the butt Watching the time. time. <laughs> Denzel right. Washington. Yes, it is. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure we're always against time. You know, I think, you know, uh, Cannons, Harker, and I can hold this thing down while you're off. You know, making money. Well, in that in that movie, uh, it's like a the creature, the the being time was on its side is basically that's what like the song. I don't know. What we're <laughs> uh, Fallen. It's a yep. movie with Denzel Washington in it. Yep. My mom. That's one of my mom's favorite movies. She loved it. Roseanne, John Belus, uh, John Goodman was in it as well. It's a good movie. It's kind of a cheat though, with what, what, what it can do. It should, yeah. be, it should only be able to possess higher life forms. It was a demon. I can't. What's the name of that movie? I can't remember. Fallen. Fallen. That's right. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Yeah, it's been forever in the day. So long ago that my family was still together. Oh man. Oh My, uh, rose. Got an expensive item today, too. Ben Stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Been good? I haven't opened him up yet. He's, uh, a masterpiece of this, uh, style, uh, power glide. Is an alt mozo 18 more home. How much does that run you? Uh, I believe it's like 130. Okay, that's not terrible. Not cheap, but yeah, they're they're boxed at this size, used to run around about like 80, uh, 
eight nine to hundred bucks. And they jumped up a bit. That's one of the things like when I reviewed uh, a friend of mine sent me his Hush uh, Superman. I, the arm fell off of it in the box, and I had to fix it for him. And uh, I did the review while I had it. I just couldn't see buying that for one hundred and five dollars when I got a master fans toys masterpiece uh, Warpath for ninety nine dollars. Well. Yeah. It's just about, you know, what you need in your collection and what your uh Yeah. Your scale it, is. I mean Then I turn around I'll start collecting my fix some random Superman figures. <laughs> so I mean they are good. Yeah. They are nice and I'm not gonna get plus we're not gonna get anything decent from, from McFarland like that. Oh hell no. I, mean, I got the uh, new uh, McFarlane uh, Nightfall Batman because I'm going to make, you know, probably make capes for it eventually if I can find the uh, if I can find the material the right color. Um, but it's still not great. It still has some major issues. Especially with the head, the head is just, it's just, it's just lopsided. Like, I don't understand why, like everybody's praising the shit out of it. And I'm like, does everybody not see the fact that he has like a super lopsided head? And I put it in like hot water to, to, and just like let it sit just to see if it'll go back to like a factory, you know, like setting. Well, that's, that's it. That's the factory setting lumpy. No. I think he has manufacturing issues because not not all like the uh, arms I got on my uh, Mongol. I've seen other ones that don't have the arms that crooked. I think it's just shoddy manufacturing. Well, that's that's on him for having shit QC. Yeah. Anyway, uh. Anyway, swing it. That's still on him. Oh yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. It's my, might be other people are not seeing it. Theirs may not be crooked right now. Good old Gutterman. Yeah, when you I was thinking of the time is not on my uh, time is on my side. Anytime I heard it, I always would sing. It's like, time is not on my side. Yeah. I guess it is. Like, that always felt like, I would always sing, I fought the law and I won. Hey, if you tell you what, if you got a nice car and it's fast, make sure it's clean. The car lot tri trick works. <laughs> I did that when I was here. I don't, con I don't condone it. <laughs> I'm not authorizing you to get out there and run from the cops and hide in the car lot. However, and not have, having a manual reclining seat helps a lot too. It goes back real fast. <laughs> uh, I mean, in, in Grand Theft Auto, yeah, yeah, that's it. Not that's so I've read in Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. Oh, Robin. You still working on it, Robin? 
Yeah. Not the Batman, ring. though. Did you put the yellow ring around the car? <laughs> I haven't even printed out the new front facing ours. I'll get to it eventually, I promise. Hey, uh, just put on the to do list. You'll never forget. They throw it out. What? Ridiculous. Your brick won't throw bad. <laughs> you no, he said to make a make a list, put it on my desk, and don't throw it out. Uh, check the twice. Echo. Very nice. I will be back momentarily. Terribly. That's what he said. Exactly what Arnold said. Is that movie Last Action Hero? Was that Christopher Lloyd as the bad guy? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. You don't think so, but you don't know so. I don't think Christopher Lloyd was even in that movie. What movie? I don't think Christopher Lloyd was even in that movie. Okay, we're getting like a, a replay <laughs> of people's audio. Yeah, I hear it too. It's probably cannons. Oh. 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 I don't know if you said oh like four times or it's just the echo. <laughs> I kept dropping this shit. He man. just keeps saying it. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh no. Charles Dance. Yeah, like I said, Christopher Lloyd. Who? Ah. What are y'all talking about? That's why I keep my mic off. I don't know what's going on. What's I was away from the computer. What are you talking about? Uh, the last action hero. Who was the bad guy? Oh, yeah. That wasn't Christopher Lloyd. Well, well, thanks for having my back. Oh, I didn't know who said it. I just say that. And uh, Parker keeps whistling the they fight in the law. That's me. Oh, Rife keeps whistling that he's fighting the law. Uh. What a fit! Ah. Mm. 
No last names, please. What? No last names, please. You got it, boss. So I got it sized down to where it needs to be, but now the internals, that's going to be a whole different fucking bag now. Yeah, the internals suck. Oh yeah, that was fucking garbage. But this is a different, a different bag of garbage. It's, it's, it's it's stuck in your head. You just gotta get it out. Demonetized. <laughs> Copyright claim. Right. Let it get out of my get out of my system. <laughs> Probably gonna have six. One from Last Action Hero and. Just talking about it? Damn. Well, they gotta make some kind of money off that movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was a failure. Was it? Four. Was it a cinematic failure? Four. Yep. People hated that movie. Damn. I didn't, That's I didn't think it was that bad. I think yeah. I might have went to the theater to see that. I did too. I uh, I saw that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three is on Disney Plus. Oh yeah, yeah man, get it while it's hot. What? It didn't take very long to go on the streaming noise. It didn't seem like it took very long. It was a pretty res resequent amount of, uh, was it like four months? I, I, I endorsed it, man. You go watch it, it's good. Recommended. I love the part when Galactus showed up and it started like eating like a nowhere. That was just a Galactus guy wearing Galactus t shirt and a McDonald's. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. He's like, I'm hungry. Feed me. See more. <laughs> I watched this video about what this woman eats through the course of the day because this guy was trying to eat the same amount. Mm -hmm. 
And I wouldn't have survived breakfast. She eat a lot or not enough. Oh my God, she ate so much. The dessert for lunch was an entire box of uh, Little Debbie snack cake. Was she fat? Honey bun. Was she fat? Oh, God. How fat was she? She, she was tons of fun, to say the oh. least. That hey. hardcore doctor is like, I'm, that woman's like, I've been trying to eat vegetables, but I'm a very picky eater. It's like, you're 600 pounds. I don't think you're a picky eater. Yeah, there, you <laughs> can't be a picky eater. The doctor's like, no, I don't think so, lady. <laughs> we ain't gonna let that lie slide. No, but for like breakfast, she has like, she starts it with seven donuts, and then she has like six eggs, and then a bunch of hash browns, and five corn dogs dipped in nacho cheese. God. What's the best kind of cheese? My cheese, not your cheese. So, uh, I like, I like passed out or fainted or checked out after he ate the, uh, the corn dogs with the nacho cheese on there. Mm-hmm. And he just keeps talking. He just keeps going about all the stuff and all the stuff that he's eating and, and this. And I didn't check back in until he got to the entire box of honey buns. And I was like, holy crap. But for real, for real, I could probably feed my entire family, you know, as it currently sits, the three of us, for the entire day on just her breakfast. The seven donuts. (laughs) And then the eggs and corny dogs for lunch. Hash browns for dinner, baby. But she's a picky eater. Yeah, she picks it up and eats it. That's like the seafood diet. And seafood needs There's a picture of that doctor on the refrigerator at work when it says you could have lost 30 pounds this month. I'm not sure that I could. What? Like, how? By not eating at all and uh, lots of cardio and watching your calorie intake, you can lose a ton of them off. I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah, but drop a pound a day. That's excessive and Nile. Drop a fuck ton of water weight by not eating and drinking like a gallon of water a day, but you know, the body uh, starts to get a little funky after you don't eat for 14 days. No, you, you still get calorie intake. I've lost in the past when I was like, got on like a fitness grade. That's, that's a long time ago. Not as you can see now, but I dropped 100 pounds in less than a year. So have I. I, I, did, I, I lost 105 in eight months by so no carbs, a gallon uh, plus uh, a day, and water and just yep. some light uh lifting and some light cardio i went i did the potato diet for about six months <clears throat> which is you know just you started with two weeks of nothing but potatoes and then you move into 
just vegetables. You can't eat anything but vegetables for two weeks, and then it's fruits and vegetables for another two weeks, and so forth and so on. But I think I made. So that's nothing but uh, carbs. Uh, so I think I made like three weeks. If you got sugar problems, you can't do that. But I lost about a pound a day. So roughly. What, told, what, I, what I took from like a, you got sugar, just eat you a bunch of meat and cheese. Drink your milk. Everything else is carbs. Body processes milk and sugar. Yep. It's carb. Meat. Lean meat. So fish and chicken. That steak is fine. As long as it's cut lean cut. Yeah. Oh, I got the the ramen toys He Man heads in. Those things yeah, are nice. Awesome. Also, too, somebody mentioned the definitely definitely not an upgrade, not at all. No, they're a massive upgrade. <laughs> 43 bucks, man, all in. All three. I can't see where they're making any money on those, but okay. Sure. Hey. I don't know how, but sure. The the paint quality. It, it, I don't know if you watched the video or not. The eye, uh, the, the Masterverse style heads, the eyes are painted look like they got blood vessels in the eyes. They're like damn detailed. <laughs> You got the pink at the bottom, of the the bottom eyelids, and you got like some pinkish tones in the eye, and the whites of the eye look like blood vessels. So well done. Watch the graph it off, man. I got the uh, Iron Man. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Beast Kingdom one that was on sale. Did you get it in? Yeah, I had it sitting here. I moved it to the back shelf so I could work on okay, I, I need a I need a review of that. It's kind of wonky. My only experience with these Kingdom stuff is uh, not, not great. White negative? I bought a Darkwing Duck from Beast Kingdom, and it was, the joints on it were, were really wonky. This, this Iron Man is also kind of, joints are all over the place, and the armor plates are just sitting on top of a cloth suit, and that's kind of weird. And then you have to like, tear it up to get the back off of it. You have to like completely pull the leather straps out of their Oh, you're gonna have something to jam them back in there, like yeah, you do a needle or or a pick of some kind to get it back in there, and it does not come with batteries. The chest and eyeballs light up. The is head it, joint is batteries really use. loose. It LR44 is time three. And it actually told you that on the package? Uh, well, in the in five-page instruction manual. Oh, you got an instruction manual? Yeah. I didn't get one.
É, sim. So, magnetic enclosure, you get a certificate of authenticity. And then here's your five page instruction manual. Tell you all about it. Then you get this cardboard overlay with the, with the phone. The big and there you go. But he does come with stuff that isn't listed. I was in here, I was like, I wonder why this doesn't sit flush so the field don't sit in there. What's going on with that? So I, I pulled it out to see what it was and it had these two pieces in there. Which it says it comes with these. But I suppose these are for the fuel. But he, uh, he looks amazing. That paint is quite amazing. How does he look when you articulate him? How are his joints? Hmm. Everything's double jointed, but the uh, armor stuff gets in the way. Like you can't go the full run because because you got like these armor pieces that are in the way, but uh, it's not. Definitely not bad. Uh, he has some like really loose joints in places though. And like his head. And this thing keeps wanting to ride down and knock his hand off. They incorporated a bunch of uh, soft goods into it, a lot more than I was ever thinking. Soft goods on Iron Man. Yeah, this whole entire under under thing is cloth. It's also two pieces, a top and a bottom. Is there a middle, though? Uh, Gambeson is what that's called. And yes, this is leather bound, but it's hard plastic, I guess, glued to it. But is there a middle? You see, there's a top and a bottom. Well, when you're wearing a top and a bottom, do you have a middle? I don't know. Hasbro seems to think that's something special to have a middle. The top, bottom, right. bottom, and middle. This is not Hasbro. Well, I'm just saying, if this is, if Hasbro thinks it's important, I think they were should have a top bottle in my middle. I take it to work and my, I let my uh, co-worker look at it and I pulled little pieces of plastic out. These little white things. Mm -hmm. And they smell very familiar, something from my childhood. I can't place it as to what the smell is. And I said, here, I told her, I said, here, smell this. And she's like, is this, is and you know you could, you could hear the recognition in her voice i'm like i can't figure out what it smells like either but i know it i smelled it a lot when i was little stink or moss man no right. i i didn't do masters of the universe growing up every shortcake but i did watch the cartoon so i know a lot more about that than i do that other show that i can't even remember the name of oh yeah gi joe Strawberry shirt cake. 
That was a good movie. My mom hated it though. How about funny? Uh, okay. Uh, I gotta pick up. Gone to Brownie. Oh, look at that. Nine minutes. What are we going to do? Nine thirty is where I'm going to. Nine thirty is when we're on the, in the stream. It's all over. Uh, I think uh, that's true. Let's uh, show go on. I passed on that. The review on it wasn't good. I'm not sure what to chat. I was trying to catch up to the chat. Uh, Hang Solo unboxing six red ninjas uh, to die. Did Walter Brimley uh, sing that? No, nope, that was me. Uh, Liz Lowe is a picky eater. <laughs> Parker Science Class. Dun, dun, dun. Die British. The Dentist Time. Is there a dick inch on, the, on Iron Man? Uh, yes and no. It's it's there. It hinges, but it's very minimal, and it is loose AF. And it's also part of the glow effects, so there's no way to, like, kiki it. A small dick hinge. So he's got a loose dick hinge. Absolutely. So it'll, it'll whip out any time, not un unexpected. It's never unexpected. It's always expected. Just not a party, you know. Man, hate that about these R's. I did get the lizard today. Oh yeah, you got one? Yeah. Damn. You do I told you. I told you I know a guy, knows a guy. No shit. I know a guy who knows a guy. Although I didn't get it as cheaply as I thought I would. Oh really? Yeah. How much? I got it at retail, twenty five. Oh shit! That's still that's still really good. The endless joints, yay fun! What a disappointing figure. Me? No, Bastila. Such a disappointing figure. There's no reason to call to call, call people that kind of name. It's just, it's just his pet name for me. Um, Bastila. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to. I saw a new season of Bastard is on 
Netflix. The anime. Watch that. What is it? Bastard. I haven't watched that yet. That pretty good. Eh, it's all right. <laughs> it, it, it's a uh, definitely not a kid show. Most of the generals he fights in the first season are women, and he ends up the defeats them by sleeping with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, seems like a kid show. That's not a not really. That's a definitely not. That's you know, how I defeated all my female enemies. They don't show anything explicit enough. Well, kind of. I guess they do, kind of. Yeah. He does grope them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not explicit. There's all. that. Yeah, yeah. He was like, what the fuck am I watching? When I watched the first season, he was like... <laughs> you knew what you were getting into. Mm -hmm. It took me a while, while to watch it because it's like when I first start watching, it's like there's nothing else new to watch. It's like, oh, a new anime. Start watching, it's like, huh? <laughs> um, huh? How many seasons is this? This one. It just started its second season. It's a remake of an, a, an, an older anime. Is he forcibly sleeping with them? Some of them. Uh -oh. <laughs> but they all fall in love with them. <laughs> but it's all right. He, he's actually possessing the, like a minor's child's body. <laughs> he turns into an adult. <laughs> oh, that seems fine. Yeah. I think maybe uh, that's not okay. Yeah. No victims in anime, I guess. Well, he was, he was actually basically reborn into another new body. And when the seal is unlocked, he, he goes into adulthood like his regular body should be. What a bastard. Yep. Well, actually, no, you don't actually technically sleep with him. Yeah, it's just still weird. <clears throat> so you ever watched One Piece? Yes, I have. All thousand? Not all of it, but I've watched a lot of it. I get you watch it's one of those ones you watch for a while, get burned out and quit watching. You go back and you know, start watching again, you can just pick up you don't need to go back and watch the other stuff. <laughs> oh, he they meet they get meet this new group of bad, bad guys who kick their ass when they first meet, and then they gotta go get stronger and they come uh, uh, come back and kick their asses and fuck the government. <laughs> I'm going to be the king of the pirates. Even though he's not really a pirate, he wants to be king of the pirates, but he's actually a good guy. Most of the pirates are bad guys, but he's a good guy. They don't think he quite understands what a pirate is, except for fucking the government. <laughs> Taxes are a bitch. Yes. Sorry, guy. I guess that was yep, that is it. Uh, anime about a guy named Dark Schneider. Uh, club them, uh, pull them by the hair and back to the man cave. <laughs> oh. Something long. Hey, fam. I don't have 
friends. I got family. Mouse over the side. <laughs> Hmm. I really just gotta do the R's and I'll pretty much be done. Mike, this um, is will you, um, Don, will you send me your file for the, um, the, uh, Batman emblem you used? I just stole it off of Google, but yeah. Um, because you, you used what? Multiple layers, right? Just two, Maybe. the oval on the back. Yeah. Parker. Oval. Yeah. Send me your Google and I'll give you a link to uh, a drive where I've got tons of like vector graphics made. There's, like oh, a lot okay. of and stuff. Go ahead and uh, work on this one, Sean. This is going to be your brought. I got to looking at it. And I was like, I can do that. It's not going to take too much to get that done. That's just a paint job, essentially. Uh, it depends on how much weight we want. Well, I can. I was planning on doing like a sculpted shirt and stuff too. Ah, uh, you just go ahead and keep that. I'm good. I got you this. Sure? Okay. Yeah. Cool. I don't, I don't mind making you one. I got this. I can do it. I faith it myself. Well, fine. I can do stuff. I don't want to do stuff <clears throat> sometimes. And if you, uh, say so? I, I got the gist of it. <laughs> I, I know the other part of the conversation, so I, I can understand, decipher the rest. The bike is overloading his, uh, system. He's, uh, he's speaking from the heart. It's gonna be sweet though. He's uh, making new parts to turn the Ghost Rider bike into Street Hawk. I remember that. Yep, basically, not rider on two wheels without the the bike men having the AI. Yeah, I guess it's kind of more like Blue Thunder or Airwolf on a bike. Think, 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 think. I guess I can go back to working on this. The only thing that sucks with the cat scratches on the pants legs are actually sculpted. Oh, nice. The scene the alligator. Yeah. He fights enough characters he can actually just work it into the look. Oh man, what was I thinking? You can put a uh, display uh, Brock with the charger, even though he drives a CUDA. Hmm. 
Brock. Uh, Venture Time? <laughs> Venture Brothers. Yeah, Venture, Venture Time's Venture. a little different. Hmm. After stream, too, I'm going to put up the links for uh, the Amazon pre-orders on the X-Men 97 and stuff. X-Men 97, what's that? Cartoon based figures. Aren't they making a new X-Men cartoon called 97? Yes, that's what these figures are based on. Is it a sequel series or is it its own thing? A sequel series. Hmm. Are we excited or cautiously uh, optimistic? I, I, don't, I don't think they'll fuck it up. Nah, they're, oh. gonna, they're, they're gonna fuck it up because the the guy guy was running that actually ended up quitting because what they're doing to it. Oh, are you serious? Ah. Yeah. Well. Shit. I knew I knew it was gonna be bad as soon as I made the announcement. The the lady at Voice Jubilee wasn't gonna come back because she's not Asian. It's like ah, oh, it's just weird. It's a cartoon. And that, if if that's the case, we never would have had like the iconic Shredder voice from uh, Uncle Phil. And then <laughs> if, we, if characters got to look what they what they look like in the cartoon. It's a cartoon. They can look like anybody. It, they don't have to look like anybody. Just to have a good voice. It's weird. It's a very, very strange move. I mean, you could have just said, nah, I don't want to do it. Instead of trying to make some weird statement about it. Well, that, oh, I'm sure it wasn't her, her decision. And it's They get to cancel now if you like cast of a... a non-minority character into a minority role in a cartoon. Unless you're a gender in case you're just boned. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Zero's been working out. <laughs> beefy boy the neck is really that's the biggest issue with this body the, the neck peg does not move hardly at all a little bit forward that's it and it's very short so you gotta put that ball at like low the the ball socket real low in the head <laughs> Valverse is doing like a poll on like a uh, which color uh, Vanguard people want to want to see next? The first one's going to be the beige desert camo. There's a gray one, a black one, and a green one. The gray with black accents, the black with gray accents, and then green with black accents. I like that gray one. My least favorite's the first one they're doing. I, I don't much care for the desert camo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that one. Not a fan. The other three, I like all three of the other ones. But I'd probably pick the green one just so I can just go with the Joe stuff. Oh, 
I wish they did the yeah, other. That one would probably be make the most sense and probably sell the most. Yeah. So they won't do that. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense for them. Uh, hopefully they they're on des desert camo kick, so the, that's one of the first one they didn't do. So. Hmm. A little bit of blue. Hasbro doing the desert camo like snake eyes. I have no desert about that thing. Yeah, uh, no, no thanks. Who's snake eye? Uh, somebody likes to gamble a lot. <laughs> well, what we call him the gambler? I mean, it is GI Joe, right? You like shooting crap, so. Friends don't let friends play black, blackjack or shoot crap. Crabs? Crabs. Mm -hmm. Some old deployment areas, I'm sure they do come back with crabs. The house has their the best odds in black deck and crabs. Abstain, abstain, abstain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm about ready to put the body together on, uh, let the paint I put on the legs and the waist uh, dry or not, then I just need to hit, the, hit it with a sealer and uh, then I'll hit it with a dull coat and I can put the body together. Oh, something wrong. The uh, that is um, Bastila, and it's pathetic. You say such endearing things. I'm never gonna fix everything, just everything. I'm judging by the name that it's uh, Mystic Legion. No, it's um, Star like Wars. Wars. It's a uh, what? Star, Star Wars Black Series. All right. One out of ten. <laughs> Star Wars Black Series. <laughs> Appreciate, appreciate. Say it fast enough. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but I'll set you for a big time now, ain't it? Are you still working on the bike? I thought you said you were done with the bike. Are you at doing the Airwolf add-ons? It's a different bike. It's he's doing uh, 
He's making street hawk out of it. Mm. Have you not listened to anything that's been said tonight? A little off and on. I like to be surprised regularly. I plugged my phone into the charger and I've lost 2%. That's not good, huh? <laughs> not necessarily. Not enough amperage on that charger? I don't know. It's a, the right cable and it's a Samsung dongle. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> so, I think I'm going to sell that Enter again. Mm -hmm. Oh, you one you made? What? what yeah. again? And I think I'm gonna well, put that shirt on the spider here and sell the spider. Uh, Don made an Etrigan the demon uh, a while back. I don't think uh, Ian's ever seen it. Yeah, it was a while back, wasn't it? Yeah. I got my children running in and out of the house. I still haven't made up my mind as to whether or not I'm going to get rid of the majority of the spider mains. You know, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then I walk in there and look at it, and I'm like, mm, I really like them, though. Thank you. Might want to keep them then. Second best rogue gallery in all of comics, right? Yeah, if you second guess it at all, yeah, you, you should probably not do it. Not until you're 100%. And I, I wouldn't be able to get rid of all of them either. I'd definitely keep the six and a couple of the Spider Mans. My favorites. You know, 2099, black costume. It sucks they, they'll never give us a good 2099. Yeah, even the, the Medco one is kind of trash. Oh, yeah, that thing is junk. It's so big. That's what she said. Not to me. Chonky. That's what she said. I think when it comes to Mezco, you don't want to buy the spandex shirt. Um, that that Mayfax one though. Ooh, shit's looking right. <laughs> it's looking pretty good in grayscale, not gonna lie. Now it's for Optus work. Okay. Saw that one. And I saw renders for that about three months ago. Woo. I keep I looking know. at that Scarlet Spider. I think, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wind up and buy that shit. Oh, oh I love mine. Hey, it is awesome. We all think arms are not always in, but these are not the hands. I think it looks fantastic. That looks pretty good. I think I'm in, uh, with the slightly thicker chest, it's making it harder to like the button to stay buttoned, so I may end up gluing the jacket closed once it goes together. And uh, I got the belt painted up. The legs look good. I'll put gold on the bracers and stuff. Uh, let's get a chip on the chat right quick uh, before I have to leave. I have to 
go offline in a little bit. Strip down the torso back. Oh. Name of Hill, I bought a Python Patrol Crimson Guard figure. Thinking I could customize it to a Saber Rider. Well, that's cool. SDA uh, Kamen Rider. Uh, could make the OG uh, Kamen Rider bikes, but the head is too different to work. So, the name of Held. So, no more women voicing young boys in cartoons. <laughs> you think that would be the case, but apparently that's all right. Oh, I did watch the Black Clover movie on Netflix, and my goodness, not being voiced by filmation, it, the voice was voicing was so much better. The filmation just hired, just used the same people over and over, even if they don't fit the role. At Harker, whose uh, peach is that? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> uh, how much for a street hawk bike? Two hundred. Speed. Uh, this one. Yep. It is being made for like a thousand. So. Uh... That's what they offered, so I was like, okay. Uh, good old G bikes. Uh, it looks good. Click your spreads. That's a X Factor Havoc. Yep, that's what it's going to be. I'm redoing it. I'm good. Um, two reasons I was I don't like the Bucky Cat body. It's all right for certain figures, but plus two. I was wanting the the arms on that body are huge, very muscular, so, and then I th with uh, sculpting bracers onto the forearms, these are be great Ghost Rider arms, depending on what body. And I, I do like the the bandit uh, forearm bracers with the spikes. Spent 150 on figures this week. Uh, my wallet needs a break. Uh, took too much for my blood. <laughs> too much for my blood. Uh, FDA, thumbs up. All righty. And oh, I still got, I got to fix up my airbrush so I can start working on the Spider-Man. I do need to fix some epoxy and fill in that little spot on the back of the head. Appreciate that. I'll get that going. I got some, uh, I had to fix my shower. I bought some uh, um, uh, thread tape so I can actually put my pressure regulator on there, my compressor. That'll help a lot with airbrushing. Oh, I thought you said you had to fix your shower and you're going to put a pressure regulator on there. I was like, dude. I did. I did fix my shower because who you know, would put a pressure regulator on the shower? I didn't do that. I <laughs> put it on. Put a put a pressure increaser. Uh, what I did have to do the 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 plumbing in my house is very old. It's the house was built in '99, and they don't use the the size PVC that they plumb the showers anymore. So basically. It's just a shower now instead of a tub shower because I ended up just capping off the line that with a spout came up, disconnected. Which Man, I feel that. I'm telling you, trying to fix my shower was a pain. And every time I figure out a way around to fix something, two other problems crop up. So the 
fix it properly, the entire shower basically needs to be replumbed. Yeah, that's what I told the wife. I said, next time something breaks on it, we're just going to have a new shower. So I didn't want to like spend several hundred dollars. So I just bought a $3 cap and just used pipe cement and glued it in place and put a put a fitting and uh, like a cover, a nice cover over top of the hole and stuff. And it's just a shower now, <laughs> which is fine as I never. <laughs> Who takes a bath nowadays anyway? It's not like I could use it as a tub anyway. It's mainly meant for to wash my dogs. That goes a regular tub sh uh, step in shower uh, tub shower. Yeah, I ain't gonna fit. <laughs> I can use it for a shower. Six foot two person trying to use that as a tub. <laughs> Head against the walls, knees against the wall. Alrighty, we'll have to we'll have to wrap her up and wrap the line, huh? Only former prisoners use pressure pressurized showers. <laughs> and I've uh, tweaked on her and. Uh, I like the changes I made to their torso. I think I'm good about to start working on. I'm about to check out Mr. Metallics and see if they got uh, a metallic pink, which would also, I got the, the testers metallic pink, but I'd have to basically use it like a candy. If Mr. Metallics has it, I wouldn't have to do that. Because their stuff coats really well. Me. Oh shit! And plus, two, I can use them if I got it. I can use it on this plus uh, the uh, Archangel. The big thing is trying to figure out how to do her patterns on her uh, outfit. It's like a it's almost like scales. pearlescent scales like in the pink can you zoom in on that a little bit so i can see it yeah. so it'd be like a i have a think think of a way to do that with the on the pink area So I may end up, hmm. Do you have access to a uh, silhouette cutter? I do not. Because you could make them, if you did, you can make a mat and then, and then airbrush it. Hmm. Yeah. That's ponder on that one. Shower thoughts. Alrighty, it's worth two hour mark and at nine thirty and I gotta take care of some stuff for work work. So we're gonna call it a night. Thank you everybody in the chat for coming out hanging out with us. Definitely. And uh Use the lumpy spray paint that you sell to make uh, things look weathered. Yeah, I've tried that, but <sighs> apparently that paint only gets the the texture at the bottom part of the can, so it doesn't really work too well. I bought something when I was trying to use that to texture primeval, and now all of a sudden, like silver paint coming out of the can. No. Uh, have a good uh, thanks, fellas. Thanks for 
later. It's been a long four hours. Yeah, it's, it's only doing two hours tonight because I got work stuff coming up. And everybody in the chat, thank you for coming out and hanging out with us tonight. It's always well, like appreciate it. And everybody, my friends join me tonight to customizing. Thank you again. We got Common, yeah. uh, Common Don, Parker Customs, and Cannon, for my own box of cannons. All their contact information is in the description down below. Remember to do all that wonderful YouTube and stuff is like, share, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch y'all next time. Later. Good night.